There are many creatures and entities in the Backrooms lore. I've talked about a lot of them on the channel. You probably heard of many of them yourself. But one entity has remained in the dark for several years now. Hidden behind YouTube videos and shorts and live streams. People know it's there, but few know its story. Today, I will take you on the entire journey of the Brugly Entity. And I'll be exploring how it came to be one of the most controversial but loved creatures inside of the backrooms. From its horrifying beginnings to its wholesome endings and current. I'm not going anywhere. This is the story of Wise Man Brugly, the most enigmatic backrooms entity, according to me, Brugly. You know, there's, there's no bias here at all. Introduction. The Brugly entity, or Wise Man Brugly, as he's been nicknamed by wanderers and other people in the backrooms, is an entity that has been in this place for a long time, longer than most people know. He takes the appearance of a tall, humanoid-like creature with soft gray skin, long arms and legs, and long fingernails. His most noticeable feature, of course, being the five eyes on the front of his face. Now, the Brugley Entity didn't always look like this, as you can guess. In fact, at one time, he was just a normal-looking person who no-clipped into the back rooms like everybody else did. So in order for you to get the full story and the full lore and background, Let's get into the story of how Brugly became Brugly. The Accident Brugly was, originally, a man named Jared. Now, Jared glitched out of reality into the back rooms one day, way back in the mid-1900s. He was alone, he had no idea where he was, and he was confused. But instead of freaking out or panicking, he decided to study everything that he saw. The layout of level zero, the effects, the colors, the behaviors of every new place and location. Eventually, he found his way out of level zero and on through the main nine levels. With ease, Jared was seemingly able to travel between levels with no problem, escaping the horrifying entities, the environments, and all the dangers that we all know. Honestly, to the point where he thought he couldn't be stopped. After about a year of jumping from level to level, going deeper and deeper into the hellscape of the complex of the backrooms, Jared found a level that he hadn't heard about or seen before. This level was completely new to him and everybody else he had met, and it was a strange, glitchy, void, and volatile place, full of moving shapes and colors, and it was not safe for life. Jared, unfortunately, was sent to this glitchy level, which is now known to be the broken level in canon. I've gone over it before. Anyways, while Jared was here, he realized that he needed to quickly escape. So he attempted to no-clip for hours until it finally worked. The only problem is that he no-clipped from this dangerous glitchy level to an even worse level without even realizing it. This second level's name and number is still unknown to this day, and no one's been able to find it again, but all we know is this. This mystery place seems to be claustrophobic, a set of hallways that dead end and drop off randomly. Some spots require you to get on your hands and knees and crawl through them, they're so tight. The hallways are made out of some kind of concrete material, and the air in this level is thick and hard to breathe and it seems to be so deep inside the belly of this backrooms complex that no one could possibly know where it actually lies. We don't know if it's negative, enigmatic, or just a regular level. We have no idea. This level was effectively a trap. Jared could barely move, much less try to no-clip, so for days he crawled around these hallway tunnels until he noticed something. The air began to smell foul and toxic. Since it was virtually impossible for him to turn around and go the other way, he had to keep crawling forward, face first, into this toxic air, which eventually would begin to burn and sting and cause his eyes to water. After a few hours of exposing himself to this strange air deep inside this unknown level, Jared, either by luck or skill, found a point where the hallway dropped off into a cavern below. This was his last chance, and his only chance, to try to no-clip. He fell into this chasm, and luckily he no-clipped through the ground at the bottom. And Jared was able to escape this toxic air and the claustrophobic prison of these concrete hallways, which had trapped him for a few days. After an unknown amount of time, Jared woke up inside of level 11 on the top of a skyscraper building there. Immediately, he could tell something was wrong because he felt way taller and smoother. Confused after this accident, Jared ran to the nearest door on the roof that he was on, ran down the stairs, and he tried to find the nearest bathroom mirror to look at himself. He found one, looked up into the mirror, and he almost fainted 
when he saw the aftermath. His skin was becoming gray and smooth, and he had large veins popping out of his head. He was elongated and almost drawn out in a way. And most notably, he had three more slits above his eyes where more eyes seemed to be forming. Out of sheer panic, he passed out in the top story of the building on level 11. I mean, I'd probably freak out too if I look like that. Eventually, Jared woke up, but this time he felt different. Rather than feeling strange or like an alien, Jared felt stronger, more agile, overall just better. Like he could finally jump faster and run farther. Looking into the mirror once again, showed his eyes fully formed and fully filled out. On the outside, he'd become a monster, but on the inside, he felt infinite in a way. After this, Jared noticed his ability to noclip became easier and easier, to the point where he could just think or walk through a wall to get to the next level. Harmful entities that used to chase him would now run away in fear of his size and appearance. The curse of being stuck in that toxic level somehow actually ended up being a miracle. Brugley's powers. So the Brugley entity has many powers and abilities at his disposal. The main three being his mental capability for remembering backroom's knowledge, the paths he's gone, the places he's been, the entities he's encountered, all that stuff. Also, his ability to seemingly glitch between levels at any time is very enigmatic and strange, and his possible ability to control things via telekinesis, although that fully isn't understood yet. But Brugley is a very calm and friendly creature to anyone and anything that he meets in the backrooms. He will help guide people to exits of the levels, help people ward off entities, and even though he looks scary, you know, he's like seven foot tall and wears a dark gray suit with a red tie, he's very kind and very nice. His fingers are also elongated with sharp claws at the end of the very tips. And from an outside perspective, I mean, he looks pretty terrifying. You know, five massive eyes, huge body, sharp claws, but he's harmless. He seems to randomly appear on different levels where there are people, where there aren't people, and he often has a book or notepad in his hands. Brugley has become very well known inside of the backrooms due to his notes and his writings that he leaves scattered around the backrooms complex and all of his knowledge about the levels that he's been to and the entire journey that he's been on. He seems to be hell-bent on expanding and spreading the word of every place he's been and also ways to survive and escape and thrive through this liminal hellscape that we're exploring together. So if you ever find a note or a piece of paper that shows you where to find food or water or supplies or anything like that, there's a good chance that Brugley wrote it. And for the last 60 years, Brugley has been wandering around these backrooms levels, cataloging its ever-changing layout, levels, entities, and enigmatic features, hoping to help people understand this alternate reality a little more clearly. We have no idea what was in that gas type thing that Jared was exposed to as a human, and to this day, Brugley has not been able to refine that level that he was trapped in. It's one of the only levels that continues to evade him. But what we do know is that whatever that level is, is the reason that Wise Man Brugley exists, for better or for worse. All right, that was the entire lore of the Brugley Explained video. I mean, this is that's the Brugley entity, the backstory, the current story, how he got his powers, where he came from, how it all happened. I hope y'all enjoyed that video a lot. This was so fun to script and storyboard. Thank you so much to no one from Discord for the art for this video. Their channel will be in the description below. They did such a fantastic job cataloging this journey of Jared becoming Brugley. If you want to check them out, seriously, description below. Thank you so much, man. That was, that was awesome. You're so talented. Hope you enjoyed this lore. Did make it up myself with the help of some people from the Discord, specifically Inverted Jack and me, came up with this a long time ago. Anyways, I, I just, I cannot believe that I have my own creature, you know, my own lore in this Backrooms universe. And I hope you actually enjoyed this video. And I, I really think that the backstory for Brugley is very fitting. I feel like it fits what he does now, myself, of course, but I feel like it, I feel like it works. If you want to see Brugley canonized on a wiki, leave a like, subscribe. It might be too powerful. I don't know. I think it's cool. Let me know what you think. Without further ado, it's time to end off this video, y'all. I love and appreciate y'all, and I'll see you in the next one.